So that's your question, the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So many times in hadith we will see, we will get 70 times the reward, 700 times the reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah, who spent in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Saba khudr, like seven stocks. So the word seven actually in, in Islam, <clears throat> it has a big meaning. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says seven skies, it means seven skies. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to something exclusive and something specific. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qalaqa fi sittati ayyam, six days, He's referring to six days. But the word seven, when it comes to rewards, etc. and all these merits, it means many things. It's not just seven. The word seven refers to a lot. It means kathra and ziyada. So there is some difference of opinion regarding this. Some say it means the exact amount. Some say it means a lot. So you think it's contradicting science. So the answer is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said six days. Which days is it referring to? It comes in hadith. It can refer to the days of the qiyamah, of the akhirah. One day in the akhirah is a thousand years. It comes in the Quran. So it could refer to those six days. It could refer to six days according to the calculation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whenever something contradicts science, our belief should be that whatever is in the Quran is true, science is secondary. And to, to combine the two, tatbiq, tawfiq, bainahuma, to combine the two, we can say, and it's actually a proper tafsir. Six days can mean the six days of the akhirah. Because at that time, there was no sun and moon. So how would you calculate the days? 